wasn't a late night for you last night because Bakersfield Christian is on it has, has a bye week, correct? Do, yes. So talk to me just about this time of year, maybe your favorite parts about the the postseason. Postseason is fun. BCHS, we do have a first round bye. Um, we're going to play Lemoore at home next Friday night, and uh, it's exciting. Uh, I love coaching high school football. It's it's fun because it's very raw and, and pure, and there's not there's not a lot of the nonsense that you have to deal with at the at the higher levels, which is all fun and good. But high school football, it's just it's a it's a different it's a different vibe. And being able to coach my son Tyler, who uh, who's a junior there, is is a lot of fun. And uh, I, I try and find myself. Um, well, there's a balance. Do I get my son the football, or do I try and win the game? And it's uh, it's a it's a struggle within every week. But we're gonna try and win some football games. He'll get the ball if he can. And how is that dynamic now? Because obviously it was a family affair before, but now having your son there as well, is there there's some tension now at more at practice than before? Yeah, I, I feel like. And people used to always tell me that you're gonna be really hard on your son, like probably harder on him than anyone else. And I do find myself yelling at him a lot. And uh, I kind of do it tongue in cheek, and I got a smile on my face most most of the time. But I kind of use him as a guinea pig because I'm not a guy that is going to really yell and scream at kids. I don't think that's very productive. I think if you can, if you can't teach them, if they don't get it, it's your fault. So you got to teach them something else. Um, but I will yell at my son and kind of smiling. And so people will see that I'm actually serious. I'm not like, oh, this guy just has too much fun all the time because I, I am pretty loose. And uh, thank God Darren is the head coach because I don't know if I would have a, a strong enough hand to, uh, to keep these guys in line. But I do use Tyler as a guinea pig to yell at him to make sure the other guys know I'm serious, so it's fun. And have you been following Fresno State yes. this season? Did you, what did you think about that Hawaii game? Well, I mean, they, it's funny because when Jeff first took over, they, they played probably better than they expected to play. I remember talking to him before the first game. Me and Derek were actually up uh, to watch the game, and he's like, I don't know how good we're going to be. And they ended up being really good. And, you know, so you fast forward a little bit, and he's still a great coach. They have They have – good coaches on staff. They got some good football players. Maybe they don't have guys with as much experience as they've had in the past. Um, anytime you lose a guy like Marcus, it's difficult to replace. Marcus is a great leader and I've gotten to know him a little bit over the last year or so. And, you know, Jorge's doing a fantastic job, but there's just things that he has to, he's still a young guy. For being around for so long, there's just things that he's still going to have to learn and develop because he is he's still kind of a rookie as far as starting quarterback. So, and that'll all work itself out, but they got a good team. I'm excited about what's going to happen tonight and, and see if they can pull one out. And can you remember a time when they had such a talented freshman running back like they do in Cropper? No, not, no, no, I can't. I mean, I know that, uh, you know, when I played, there was, you know, Michael Pittman was there. I remember I first walked into the, the weight room as a freshman, and I saw Michael Pittman working out, and he was doing arm curls, and I said, I can't play here. There's there's no way I can. This guy's arms are as big as my thighs. I can't play football in college. And uh, he was the first guy I saw. So they've always had talented running backs and talented players. But Cropper's uh, he's a good one. It's always fun to see a guy kind of just pop up out of nowhere and um, a local guy. And uh, it's exciting. This area means so much to your family. What are your thoughts on them moving to, to Las Vegas next year? Well, it's funny when they first, um, two things, when they first found out that they were going to go. Derek was literally filling up his swimming pool in Oakland with a water hose. And he sent me the picture and he's like, I guess I should stop or and so it was going to be a couple years. And then and then my mom, the same thing. She was like, well, Vegas is so far away. So I, I had to literally Google how far the stadium would be in Vegas as compared to the one in Oakland and from Bakersfield, it's the same distance. Mm, so there you go. it made her feel better, at least for the moment. And uh, I mean, Vegas will be fun. You know, obviously Oakland, the Raiders, I, when I think about the Raiders, I think about the Oakland Raiders because mm -hmm. that's how I kind of grew up. And they were in LA for a little while as I was growing up, but the Oakland Raiders is where they kind of where where they should be. Mm -hmm. um, but the Las Vegas thing is when you look at it from an owner's perspective, it's hard to pass up because it's just financially it just makes more sense. And then for Mark Davis, you know the team's value is going to increase. Um, I think it's going to be a really cool place. Unfortunately for Derek and the offense, that you know opponi uh, opponents are going to they want to travel to. You mm -hmm. know, I know a lot of teams come out, but if you have an opportunity to go to Las Vegas and watch a football game, you'll probably stay there for two or three days, and it'll be a good time. So. It'll be interesting to see the dynamic and how that works out. Hopefully there's still more Raider fans in the stadium than visiting opponents, but uh, we'll see what happens. And finally, the 49ers, your, your former team, what do you make of the season they're having? It's been great. Kyle Shanahan is a, a, a top five play caller, in my opinion. And, you know, they've had a couple injuries at tackle. Kyle Juszczyk was out, uh, but it looks like he's going to come back this week. But just being where they are, I mean, the defense is playing fantastic. The secondary is probably a little bit suspect, but you can't really tell because the defensive line's so good. Mm -hmm. uh, guys like Bosa, I mean, 
talking about young players stepping up and making plays, that guy's been fantastic. So the pressure they're able to put on opposing quarterbacks is, is pretty special, it's pretty rare. Um, and then he has a great plan on the other side. They run the football very effectively. You know, George Kittle is fantastic. So I, I really like their offense. It's fun to watch. I get a lot of ideas for uh, VCHS from Kyle Shanahan, so <laughs> it's fun. Awesome. Thank you so much, David. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this from ABC 30, just make sure to hit that subscribe button below.